Every day we are getting closer and closer to 1.16. Currently, we are in pre-release 8 and <laughs> we're getting really close to 1.16. And when that comes out, be ready for Relaxing Cramp Season 2. But today, <laughs> I've got a new skin today. <laughs> Maybe wondering why I've got this beautiful skin. Well, today I'm building. I'm Bob the Builder, and we're we're gonna build something. Today we are gonna build a gunpowder farm, and hopefully get sugarcane. Cause I gotta hope that a wandering trader gives us sugarcane. So if we get that, we can build ourselves a beautiful. Give me those potatoes. And we can build ourselves a beautiful gunpowder farm right in the distance over there and some sugarcane farms because I'm gonna build it. Last episode, we got an elytra. Yeah, we got ourselves beautiful wingies, completely enchanted elytra. We got these beautiful chorus fl flowers and stuff, and that'll make us get infinite chorus fruit. We also got ourselves an ender chest, as well as getting ourselves the ender dragon egg and the head. It is, ab it is beautiful, right Jelly? We also got some end city loot too, so that's cool as well. So yeah, we got all of that stuff amazing, and it is time to build ourselves a gunpowder farm. So let's get to it. Look at, uh, we still have so much netherrack. Oh my goodness. From, from that, um, from this iron farm, we still, look at all of that netherrack gone into it. We still have so much more. I, it's crazy how much netherrack we got from that mission. And look at all the slime. We have so much slime. Oh, I forgot to mention, last episode, we got ourselves shulker shells, which means we can get ourselves shulker boxes and transport all of this netherrack over to our work area so that we can build much more efficiently. I'm getting myself a gunpowder farm, mainly for the fact that since I have an elytra now, I want to use it and be able to fly around the base and get to see all this stuff from farther away. And of course, because I do this every time I have a beautiful shulker box, I need to have a Richardies box. Uh, it doesn't seem like I have any blue. Oh, yeah, I can't get light blue. Um, if I get one of these bone meals and a lapis, I believe I can get myself Yeah, if I get bone meal and lapis, I can make light blue dye, which is what I need for, which is what I need for my light blue shulker box of epic. Nice. We now got ourselves our Richardies box, so we can put all of our stuff in. Great. I like that. Got all of our stuff in this beautiful shulker box right here. First thing I need to do is get a few shulker boxes of netherrack so that I can build this much quicker with having all the resources at hand. So let's go get like three or four shulker boxes of netherrack and we can start building this thing. Oh, hello. Jesus, wait. I I can almost one-shot pigments. I can only almost one-shot zombie pigments. Oh, yikes. It didn't work. Uh-oh. I think 
two full Shulka boxes. Oh, great. Now you're even angry? All right, cool. I think two full Shulka boxes and a little bit extra is good enough. So let's get the heck out of here. Oh no! He picked up my armor! I lost one of the shulker boxes. A creeper blew up one of the shulker boxes. <gasps> Wandering trade! Hello! Hey, how's it going? A red sand, a spruce, bucket of tropical fish, um, white dye, lily of the valley, that's pretty good. A tulip. It's not the best. I will, I will buy it. Wait, wait, stay, st come back, come back, come back. I'll buy your stuff, I'll buy your stuff. I'll buy your stuff. Oh, my shulker box isn't there. I will buy your lilies. And I will buy your tulips. And I will buy your dye. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, would you care to stay at my village? We have a very nice village here. Yes, yes, please stay, please stay. Hey. A black tang. Nice. Is that random? Is it like a random fish or something? Because I kind of want more. I have a bunch of ra random tropi tropical fish. I'm unsure what kind until we place them. Um, what are you? Uh, you are a red ch chicklid. Chicklid? Chicklid. I don't know. And you are a... <gasps> oh, yes! We got a clown fish. Cool. We got some... A beautiful assortment of fish to our name. That's not it. We got a clownfish, a black tang, and a red chicklid, or whatever that is called. <laughs> I'm kind of unsure. So, yeah, things are going pretty well. Let's build this thing. I was gonna build until I realized that there was a trader. And it doesn't matter. Let's build. So, as me being the amazing Bob the Builder that I am, um... <laughs> We need to build this beautiful creeper farm, like I have done. But this one is a different version than the majority of mine. Because here's the thing. Since we are currently at Y level 4, this is a super flat world. Which means I don't have to do any, like, crazy, like, tunnel boring things and a bunch of TNT duping to get here. It's a complete flat surface on Y level 4. And why does Y level 4, like, make any sense? Because the lower the chunk to the to bedrock, the higher like spawn rate of certain mobs, which is perfect for this case because we want this creeper farm to pump out creepers. So many, so much gunpowder, so much sugar cane, and so much pow like fireworks stuff. So this thing to pump out so much gunpowder, so many fireworks, too much firework, <laughs> and we just need his help. Because if he gives us any, like, any amount of sugarcane, we can build this thing. And it would be beautiful. But right now, we're just going to have to rely on luck. So, I'll leave you to it. But first, this is a design by Logical Geek Boy. And I'll leave a video link in the description of this video. And it's a really simple one. What, uh, the way that creepers work. Normal mobs, like us are like two blocks high. Actually, I'm not two blocks high. Uh, normal mobs, like zombies and stuff, are two blocks high. Creepers, however, are a little bit shorter than that. I do believe, I think creepers might actually be the same hitbox as us, which is slightly less than two blocks tall, which means that they can like be able to spawn if there is a trap door right on this like ledge. So they're actually less than two blocks tall, which means we can control what we want in our farm. Do we want a zombie or a skeleton and witch and stuff? We all put it in two blocks tall and creepers included as well as spiders. Now spiders, on the other hand, are different because they are one block tall. However, they have to spawn in like a two by two radius or something or a three by three radius. I'm not completely sure. So we're going to have to put carpet every now and then just to make sure that uh, spiders won't spawn. But the creepers will be pumped out <laughs> like oil. Like so much creeper action, so much creeper deathification. Um, the only problem is, is the farm won't be like as like popular. <laughs> the, the farm won't work as well at night 
because there's going to be so many mobs. And technically, slimes count as passive mobs. So they don't count towards the hostile mob count, which means if we build this creeper farm during the day, it'll pump out creepers so quick. And also because of these carpets here, it'll like even pump it out faster because there's no like entities in the area at all. So these things will come out really quick. And it's really simple design using creepers and cats. We're gonna need lots of cats because creepers are scared of cats. We build up a bunch of platforms, the creeper gets scared by the cat, falls through a two block trapdoor gap, and falls onto magma blocks. We're gonna need a lot more than 13 though. So uh, let's get building this. All right, now that we got ourselves the rail system in place, the next step is well, first actually get this cat. Next step, keep getting cats. Come on. It's so difficult to get cats. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on, one more to do. Yes! All right, we got him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. The next thing to do is pull up the unload system so that we can get this into the chests so that we can get a crap ton of gunpowder, <laughs> a lot of gunpowder into the chests. So just build this up and we can get this done. We have completed the next step, which was the collection system. And it is really simple. So if I just drop 64 netherrack right here, it gets picked up, dispensed, and put along into this area. And then what happens is it gets sent into here, and this closes, and all of this dispenses. And then when it's all done, it gets sent along on its, on its journey. So yeah, it works now. After a lot of head scratching, turns out that it only activates the um, comparator. It only activates the comparator if there's five full stacks. If there isn't, then it won't work. So yeah, now it makes more sense. Cool, well this is the second step done. Now the third step to do is to put in the magma blocks all through this area, and then we can finally get to the actual building of the gunpowder farm. So let's get to it. The creeper farm is finished, almost. Well, the first like section of it. I built up the magma spot, and I built up the spots where the creepers are going to fall into. And now I just gotta add the platform in the middle with the cat in the middle of that platform, and then we got creepers, so I'll do that now. Okay, so, oh wow, that was a little lag. All right, cool, nice. So, the way that this works currently is we got ourselves beautiful jelly, hello. Jelly number two, don't worry, Jelly's still in the house. Jelly number two is going to scare off my creepers. So if I build in the next layer, obviously I'm just gonna have to put trap doors on the tops, which will be a pain. But Jelly number two here, when the creeper spawns, she will scare the creeper into walking over these two things. So the creeper thinks that these trap doors are actually like this, so he'll attempt to walk over it, and then he'll fall on the magma blocks and die. Simple as that. And then all of his guts get pulled up into the collection system, and every now and then, I may find a slime ball. <laughs> Just every now and then, there may be a slime that died. But yep, yeah, first layer done. Let's get the second layer, and then we can actually see this in action. Actually, first thing I need to do is light up this spot and cover it all up so nothing can get in. <gasps> oh, look, a wander trader! Yes, what do you got? What do you got? Ugh, jungle sapling, bucket of cover fish, light blue, orange, nautilus shell. You know what time it is. Time lapse time! <laughs>
Okay, everybody, it has been a long, long time. A few hours since the last clip that you saw. And, well, we've got uh, one, two, three, four. Four beautiful layers done. And uh, we still have five more to go, I think. No, four more to go. We still have four more to go. We're doing eight layers. So this is pretty much halfway done. And I will pretty much finish the rest off camera, as the Bob the Builder I am. I'll finish the rest off camera, and by next episode, you'll see this completely finished and working and producing gunpowder. And yeah, it's working so far. I mean, I did see a creeper spawn, which means that creepers will spawn. I mean, it makes sense. Look, we've got trapdoors on the top and spider proofing, and we got the cats. So everything is working correctly. And whenever we are finished building this, just flip this lever and the cart will go along and pick up all the stuff like it will here. But anyways, that's all the time I've got for today. I really want to get this video out for you guys because it has been like two days in the making of this Hello Minecart. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Bob the Builder here. I I will change my skin back. Don't don't worry. Uh, <laughs> if you did like it, please. Hit Living in the nether for a long time, it draws the life out of you. It really does. Living in a dark, dank, moisty place for years and years, it really sucks the life out of you. I'm glad I'll finally be able to join the overworld once again. It has been a while since I've seen light, and I will sure be back again.